steam generators come up through the top of the building. Those steam generators are low level waste by and large. Okay? 16 of them, the size of a school bus, probably a bit bigger than a school bus. The rules of environmental stewardship say follow these rules. Reduce, recycle, reuse. Those are the principles. Okay? So when I talk about your DGR examples, John, God does agree. But I try mindfully to do what the rest of the world does and send those steam generators to Sweden to be reduced, recycled, and reused. And I make massive opposition, ill informed, panic stricken uh, stuff that actually resulted in me deciding I didn't want to you know, take on all the First Nations groups from here to Sweden uh, and argue over who owns this along seaway and all those other things. And as a consequence of that, those 16 steam generators are sitting in this site where they might end up going into a DGR. That's a travesty in my mind. Okay? Now, I could, you know, fight my way through that, because we've got the democracy, we've got the approval, and, you know, and, and I may still do that. I've never taken it off the table, and I may still do that. But my point really is, if we were able to do that, which is sound in it in so many ways, then I've got a real strong argument to say, what are you building a DGR for? Because if we follow the principles of reduce, recycle, and reuse, then what am I doing? <coughs> and because in, in those principles, what you said, rags and clothes, will incinerate, will catch in and in high efficiency builders, will minimize all the other stuff to the point where maybe we don't need it. But whenever we try to do that, somebody opposes that too and makes it very difficult to do it. That's the difficult environment we're in. So that's with respect to the lower and intermediate ways. I, you know, I, my honest answer to you is, you're right, I wouldn't do it that way if it was me. I'm being honest with you, I wouldn't, and I, you're not going to get in trouble for saying that because I'm talking to someone else's business, it's not mine. But I wouldn't do it that way. But I would also tell you that I tried to prove a point and get stopped from doing it because the steam journals are still here. If I can prove my point by doing what the rest of the world's doing, then now I've got a, a valid argument about how you deal with low waste. On, on the high level fuel storage, and, and let me just be honest with you and say, I have written to OPG and I've written to the Nuclear Waste Management Organization over the last two months. And in both of those letters I've told them I'm very concerned about what I'm doing. I'm hoping they'll take notice of that. And I've sat and I've met with the CEO of NWO and I've said to them, go away. They go away for at least a decade. Because you're dealing with something that is 125 years to solve. What the hell are you doing here right now? Because you've confused this whole community. We're talking about DGR 1 and DGR 2 and what's that all about? Now as I say, I don't control that. But it's a problem. Because whether you support the science and technology of it, it's, it's a problem of communication they have. You've smeared two things together, and they're not the same. They're not even close to being the same. The problem with the NWMO is, the problem because of the structure, that's federal, and they march to a bit of a different ground, and the DGR is provincial. But they're both common in terms of who's the proponent and who's controlling it. So I know who I was writing to and why I was writing to them. But the reality is the NWMO want to demonstrate that they can find really most communities. The conversation I've had with them before is why are you talking to a community that you have no intention whatsoever in putting highly rich fuel on, uh, uh, or putting spent fuel on? You have no intention of putting there, but you're making everybody nervous. And you're bringing up and creating opposition. It once created, it will not go away. And it will turn its your know, guns on a legitimate business. I can tell you right now, if I try to ship my steam generators again, the same people that oppose the DTRs <coughs> and spent fuel will oppose my SG ship. Just because they're there. And I wouldn't, I'm not a target at you gents, but I can tell you, I know that happens. Once you have an anti-nuclear movement, they're going to shoot at anything that smells of nuclear, even if it's a very sound project like shipping these steam generators. So my message to the NWMO CEO is, and I wrote to him in pretty strong terms, 
I want you to consider what you're doing and the board, board what you're doing at the timetable of that conversation. Because there's no reason for you to be having that right now in this community. And, 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 uh, so, as I said, I've been pretty forthright with you on that. It's not my uh, ability to control, and I'm hoping I can apply some degree of influence to have people think about it. Because those people that are making those decisions don't live in this community. Uh, and everything I'm doing is part of this community. 